Stand all the way up. Feet together, release the arms. On your inhale, reach up. Good, and on your exhale, fold forward. Feet are together. We're gonna squat down. Just squat down on your tiptoes and open your knees. Plant your hands, shoulders distance apart in front of you. All right, so we're gonna work toward crow pose. Now, Bakasana is more about creating the shelf of balance than using any particular amount of strength. So, Ali, open your knees, plant your hands, shoulders distance in between. Okay, so we're gonna try to do here is rest your knees as high up on your arms as you can. Okay, so lift those knees up to your upper arms and then grab the floor with your hands. Start to bend your elbows and shift forward. It's not about lifting up. As you shift forward, your feet will get light. Maybe you can lift one foot, maybe you can lift the other foot. All right, so try not to stick your butt up too much here. As you lean forward, those feet can pick up. Really grab the floor with your fingers. Let's just stay here, put your feet down. Squat down in between your legs, just hang out for a moment. Good, we're gonna do it again, all right? Let's work on it one more time. Remember, don't worry about getting both feet off the mat first time. Just try to get one foot up. Plant your hands, shoulders distance. So one of the keys to this posture is how high on your arms you can lift your knees up to. Try to lift your knees like almost up to your armpits. Right, don't stick your butt up. Just start to bend your knees. Sorry, bend your elbows. Lean forward. As you lean forward, your feet will start to just get really, really light and float up off the mat. All right? Grab the floor with those hands. Suck your navel up. Good, put your feet down, downward facing dog. Just step back. Step back into dog, that's great work. Kabakasana is tough. On your inhale, pull the hips back further. Then step your right foot all the way forward. Warrior one. So we've worked on that a bunch already. Virabhadrasana one, come up, reach up. Feel the hips wrapping forward. So the hips squaring here, and they don't quite square all the way, but they're gonna try to. That's what we really wanna work on in the next pose, and keeping it out of our low back. So from here, just drop your arms by your sides. Good, lean halfway forward, spin onto the ball of your back foot. Now before we step into warrior three, I really want you to scoop your tailbone underneath you. Lift your lower belly a lot. That's gonna support your lower back here, all right? Now there's no need to lock your standing leg. Keep your standing knee bent a little bit, just step onto it, warrior three. So bend your standing knee a little bit. Have a little buoyancy there. Don't turn your hips open. You'll know your hips are turning open to the left if your left toes are turning out to the left. Now, for some of you this is a lot. Michelle's gonna demonstrate how to modify. You put your hands down. Keep pulling your chest forward though. So basically, it's a capital letter T. And that right leg rooting down, chest pulling forward, left leg reaching backward. Really feel that length. Pull the heart forward, but keep your lower belly lifting. Come on, one more deep breath here. Get as long as you possibly can. We're gonna stay on one leg, all right? Most of you are gonna wanna use your block here for twisting half moon. First, put your left hand down. Pull your chest further forward. Reach your left leg further back. Start to reach your right arm up. Without turning your hips, turn your chest to the right. Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Twisting half moon. The so same thing here with the standing leg. There's no need to lock your standing leg all the way. You can bend it a little bit. But really, that top leg is free. Straighten that top leg as much as you can. Turn your belly and chest to the right, not your hips. Your hips should stay even. It's really important here not to turn your hips. And the best way to work that is to press into that back foot. Drive through your back leg as much as possible. Come on, one more deep breath, open. Good, put your hand down, put your foot down, just fold forward, let it go. Whew, nice deep breath here. And then step back, plank position. Pause and plank for a moment, it's up to you. Either through a vinyasa or just straight back to downward facing dog. I know for me, I oftentimes just like to skip vinyasas. Step your left foot forward, warrior one. Pause for a moment in this Vera One. Reach your arms up, pull your waist back. So these are what we call 
neutrally rotated postures in the hips because we're not trying to turn our hips open, we're trying to keep the hips even squared.